Bullet Gang, what up, y'all? I'm back with another quick update vid. In today's vid, we're gonna do what well, we're gonna try to do a progesterone test on Big Lex, cause today is day six for her bleeding, so almost about that time, y'all. So um, some of y'all know I, I like to do my progesterone test around day five, starting starting day five, maybe day six. Um, today I decided to just get it done just to see what her levels is at day six for her. So I'm gonna try to capture this on on camera, but we'll see. Sit down, good girl. All right, y'all. It was finally successful, man. Finally got her blood taken, man. Uh, now I wish she would let me cut her long ass damn nails. But that shit ain't looking like it's gonna happen anytime soon, man. She might be one of the ones that I had to take to the vet to put to sleep in order to get her nails cut, just like Blaze was, man. That shit's ridiculous. But yeah, yeah, I'm hype. I got the blood, so let's go inside and do the do the test and see what we got now. Let's get it. Alright, yeah. So I'm gonna take it step by step how I do these progesterone tests, alright? So, first step. Obviously, gotta take the blood. Second step, take one of these tubes. I put it to the one to the one mark. I don't know if you can see that, but put it to the one mark. Now also, I have another tube filled with water. This is to this is so that way it balances out and it doesn't make a lot of noise when you spin this. You no, know, so this is a little bit under one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of the blood to that water just to add up to the one. So now what we do is. We take the blood, we put put it in one, we put it in one slot. Now we take the water that's mixed with the other blood and we put it directly across from the other one. You know? Now we spin that shit. See, it's not too loud. It still makes some type of noise, but it's not too loud. You know what I mean? So now we're gonna turn this one on. Make sure it says okay. That means everything is good with it. Everything is up to date. Now we're gonna take out one of these. Put a, put a pipette, I don't really know how to say it, pipette, pipette, I don't know, take one of these, this is a, a little pipette, pipette, whatever, so now you're going to connect this to here, now we got that there, got this there, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our test kit, Stop this blood to see where it's at now. Perfect. That's the perfect serum that we need right there. We're gonna take the 150 ULs of this, of the detector dilutant, and we're gonna place that inside the detector tool. All right, now we're gonna change this over to 30 ULs. Then we're gonna take 30 ULs of the plasma. Now we gotta take out 75 ULs of the mixed plasma and the detector dilute. We're gonna take 75 UOs out of that. All right, now we're gonna open this test up. We're gonna place the, the juice in this well right here, this little well. Set timer for 15 minutes. All right, are we in the game? Now we wait in, we wait 15 minutes, and then we could place the test tube into the, to the machine and it will give us, it will give us the number. So, I'll pick the camera back up when it's time. In the meantime, while we waiting for the results, this is how the dogs get down, y'all. This is a 24-7 thing. Every time they out together, they, they rough housing like that all day, y'all. And then Nina comes through like, what's going on? And she going her bullshit. But she don't pop off on Chanel like she would to Fendi. See, she'll do that, but she, don't, she won't really bite her none of that. Like, she will actually do the Fendi and shit. Come on, come on. Yo. I can't wait till Nina this time again, y'all. Y'all ready? Well, some of y'all that don't know, I'm breeding her the Too Faced. That boy is super nano, super tiny, way smaller than her. Boned up like shit. Crazy ass bones. 
big ass head, so you already know I like that clean, that clean structure on my dogs, but I also need that thick bone. I want that big head, you know what I mean? So can't wait for that breeding. That's just gonna be dope as hell. And now that Fendi's pregnant, I'm so hyped because I have another stud in mind that I want to use for her on her next heat cycle. Which I'm already about to lock bro in, man, because he's that he's that dope. Like this breeding with Fendi and Uno is top notch, but I think this next one is gonna be gonna be even more dope. This is Nina trying to put put these dogs in their place when she feels like they out of line. These should be going to add it to ya. Nina wants to try to correct everybody. Look at that. She popped on Gucci. was about to bite Diamond. Went to Chanel. We're still waiting for Diamond to come in heat, y'all. She's already eight months and she still hasn't had her first heat yet. Usually, um, I know when she won't, when we had Chanel as a pup, she first came in the heat at six months. So, I'm just patiently waiting for, for Diamond to come in heat because I y'all already, for those that don't know, I'm breeding, I already locked in Mr. Tot for her. And Mr. Tot is one of the smallest, smallest Frenchies around, you know what I mean? He's like eight pounds fully grown. Super short back. So yeah, we're waiting for Diamond to come in heat. We're waiting for Nina to come back in heat. And we're waiting for Chanel to come back in heat. And again, for those that don't know, Chanel, she's going to MJ. One of the dopest chocolate Frenchies around. And he's a fluffy carrier, so. Once Chanel has those puppies, they'll all be, well, some of them will be fluffy carriers. I will be getting them all tested and shit, just to make sure. But um, they definitely won't be cheap, y'all. You know, um, some of y'all may know Fluffies, Fluffies in general, they, they go for a big bag, like, super big money. Like, it's an investment, you know what I mean? So, them shits is expensive as hell, but even Fluffy carriers, they go for a, for a decent bag, too. Look at this boy, buying a hotel. He, Gucci actually got another breeding coming up soon, y'all. I'm doing another progesterone test today on another female. And um, if she's ready, it's going down today. If not, in a couple more days, but I'm going to do as many progesterone tests as I need. Just so we know. Yo! See how she popped through. Look at, look at Gucci getting tight. What's up, Guwa? Big boy. This little kid got another breeding going down, y'all. I'm super hyped for that. I put Chanel in check just now. She was doing too much. Nina did not approve. Let's go see this test, y'all. All right, you guys. The moment of truth. We're about to see where her levels is at right now. She's still super low. She's still super low at 140, y'all. So that means I got to retest. I'm going to retest in a couple more days, probably two, three more days. And then we're going to get it in, y'all. All right. So real quick, we got Big Fendi just laying down in the cut. She's starting to get a little bit of milk in these canals right here. But pretty soon, I'll be taking her to get an ultrasound just so you can see how many puppies she actually got. And that'll probably be the next video, y'all. That being said, I'll catch you on the next one. Bully gang, we off this.